Welcome back to the Tidarium Hangar. Happy Friday, everybody. Hope everybody is doing well today. Today, I want to talk to you about the return of the Coneheads. The return of the Coneheads. Well, it seemed like we might not get Coneheads from anybody, and it turns out we're getting them from this MPU. It's going to be an MPU-01 thrust, and the thing is that it looks like it's based off Takara. We have uh, lots of evidence of that. We've got more information from Shozi. Of course, you can get this from Shozi. There's not going to be a lot of places you can get this from. Most U.S. retailers would not stock it. So only a handful of them are going to be carrying this. But it uses Takara as a template. I'm going to talk about this. Compare it to the deformation space so next to Toy World and, of course, next to Takara and tell you what I think because I think I know if I'm going to replace my Make toys coming up. All right, starting out, taking a look at it, I think it does look really good. And I I like the mold. I like the MP52 mold, which it appears to be based off. I got my Starscream down, took a good look at it, compared it to pictures. You can kind of see the inside of the thigh. Some of these other pictures are a little more exposed, exposing. But the first thought I had when I saw this on Saturday night was the, the skinny little thighs, the skinny little thighs on it, feel like the Takara mold, more than deformation space. We will do that comparison here in a bit. But... It does look pretty good overall, and I'm happy with the Takara mold overall, so I don't have a problem with that at all. So, with this, there's some things I like better. I like the lower legs not being gigantic and over-exaggerated, which we kind of get with cartoon. When you bring in the cartoon animation, it does kind of show that the knees are like up, up on his uh, thighs, and I, I don't know. I like what they're doing with this better. I think it looks better. I feel like they're doing this this way because it's cheaper and easier and less parts to have to redo. But I personally like that look. So then we get into, is it super tune accurate? Is it perfect? And with that, it's not perfect. It's not super tune accurate, but I like the look of this better. And that kind of gets to a subjective point, which is great because there's options. There's so many options out there. Well, not for Coneheads so much, but there are options that are out there for Coneheads. And if you like this look better than another look, then I guess you win. Well, I'm going to win because I've got a pre-order. Chosey, don't forget, TH review code, up for pre-order, $1 down. Getting to the back, I think it looks okay on the back. Some people like to put the wings up on the back. That's a, I don't think that's an option here, but... Anyway, this still looks pretty good, pretty decent, relatively clean overall, and yeah, there it is. There it is, the back look, back profile. Let's check out some more picks. Here's the alt mode, and I, I so with this, this is the first part where I'm going to say that there's a template. We have a template that they're following, which is Takara. So I'm going to pull up the Takara one. So some people have been complaining about the fact that there's black right there on the top part, top middle center, and that's what Takara did. So if you're going to make a KO, so this is a KO, by the way, it's a knockoff, it's not an official. If this is a KO, that you're probably not going to be able to get this at shows, or you're going to get this at show Z, but probably not at US retailers like TF Source or Chosen Prime or all those other ones. So they're following that template. And... You're going to see it in multiple different ways, multiple multiple different areas and avenues, but they're following the template of what Takara did in their past iteration, and that's how you get what you've got here. Now, the colors don't match up exactly, but you can see the inspiration. Now, we see the packaging, and of course, it's styled right after Takara, meaning that it is a KO of Takara. It's pretty obvious right there. MP Ultra, looking pretty cool. Masterpiece Ultra. So I, I guess, uh, but it says Thrust version 2.0 right on there. I'm not 100% this is exactly what the package is going to look like. It might be a mock-up or something along those lines. But still, uh, what you can expect is pretty much copying Takara across the board. So with that, let's compare it side-by-side side directly with Takara. And here we go, seeing that, first of all, I think the red's a little brighter. I like the brighter red. Maybe it's not quite as accurate as we saw with the animation cell there, but... I like it a little bit brighter red. That I appeal it appeals to me. It appeals to me a little bit better. The 
head sculpt, I think, looks better. Maybe it's not as accurate. I don't know if the accuracy really matches up, but I like to look at it. The smooth shoulders, uh, the smooth waist piece, all of that looks pretty good. Seems, as you can see, the cockpit is lower on the chest, which still, it just overall, I think it looks so much better. It's like a, a modern iteration, and it looks good. Now, I, I, again, I'm not one that likes giant knee pads all the way up on your thighs. Even though that's what the animation shows, I still like the new one better. So it kind of gives some options there. And then getting down to the lower area, I think it just looks cleaner. It just looks cleaner. Kind of what we saw with with uh, MP11 from MP11 mold for Starscream to this tar Starscream. So what else we got to check? Which I had a better picture of the Make Toys like straight on. But anyway, this is the Make Toys one. And as you can see, the way they position the wings on the Make Toys, it could slide up higher. And some people like that. Some people like the wings slid up higher, closer to the back. And a lot of people feel like these wings on this one are a little bit too low. So that gives you options. Of course, you got the giant knee pads up there, way up on the thighs. But it does shine. It's a shiny plastic. I think it looks nice on the shelf. Some people say that the Make Toy shiny plastic looks cheap, but I feel like it looks good. I mean, if you paint it and it has a shine, it's premium. But if it is cast plastic and has a shine, they feel like it looks cheap. I mean, that's all, of course, up to you. But I think they both look good. Will I upgrade? Well, I'm getting it. And then I'll compare them side to side. But in my mind, my mind's eye, I like this MPU Ultra a little bit better. I do. I do like the look of it better. And it's what I would rather have. The downside is, though, I still think it's going to be shorter than the Make Toys. Even though it says it's going to be 9.8 something inches, I still think it's going to be shorter than the mach -A Toys. And we've got the Toy World one, which is super ultra stylized. And it is super tall. Nothing's going to be taller than the, the Toy World. That's just all there is to it. Toy World is just, they're gigantic. And uh, they that's one of the things that attracted me to Toy World because I was kind of like bigger is better all the time and I like the bigger bots but this is shorter I mean we saw it next to Deformation Space and I'll probably try to do a correct size comparison when we get to that here in just a little bit but Deformation Space is much bigger and I actually like the larger size bots and I was hoping Deformation Space would make it but I'm happy with this too this is fine but you can see the the comparisons to these Oh, and look at the wings on the back on Toy World. Wings are on the back. And I think you have the option either way, actually. All right, so deformation space, and I'll try to adjust it to where the heights match up more correctly to the way it is going to be in reality. But I still think the deformation space design is cleaner and neater and looks better. I do think so. But uh, deformation space is no longer, which is weird because... When I pulled this picture of Deformation Space, uh, well, actually, I went to Show Z to check their picture, and it was up for pre-order. So if Deformation Space is no longer, then how are we getting another run of these up for pre-order at Show Z? So no conspiracy over here. I only deal in facts, and I just gave you all the facts I know about the Deformation Space on pre-order. Now, side by side, looking at them, I just feel like Deformation space is still cleaner. As clean as the Takara one is, deformation space is cleaner. I think the thigh thickness is more accurate on deformation space. It's a little too thin, but I know why they're that thin. It's because of the sliding mechanism in the legs. It's fine. It's fine. But deformation space edges it out just a little bit. I think the way the arms are a little bit closer in looks more accurate. It looks better to me. And, of course, as you see with Deformation Space, they've got the wings on the back. Now, the whole way the Deformation Space works with the whole flipping the whole wings and half of the midsection together as you transform it, it's a whole, it's a whole ordeal. Which, that is really, if you want to overcome that section of the transformation, the transformation is not that bad. But that's where most people get stuck is the, the, the flipping of the wings and a bunch of mechanisms at once. But still, I think that this looks fine. But it's going to be shorter than your deformation space. So when you think of cone heads, cone heads generally tower over them. Their heads are higher because they have the cone on it. But your, the cone's probably barely going to go up to slightly above the head. So that, that's going to be a little weird look if you group them all together. But most people put their cone heads on their own separate shelf. 
Now I want to talk to you about why is a uh, a KO company doing this? Why is it being done as a KO? Why is it being done as a knockoff instead of an official third part official, officially unofficial unofficial third party? <laughs> it's being done as fourth party. The reason is multiple reasons. Takara seems to be wanting to get out of the masterpiece game for the most part and just kind of doing some sort of hybrid in the middle. I feel like Takara's never going to do it, and I think that this whoever's behind the this one here knows Takara's not going to do it, and was probably the same ones, but just put a different name on it that did the KOs before, so they already have some mold, and they just have to remold a few parts for the most part. And with that, they are willing to take the risk, because the risk really isn't that high, because there's not going to be any other options out there other than what's already been made and everybody's looked at if you did if you wanted it you'd have bought it by now so they're giving you something else with upgraded design upgraded look for a more modern look which i i still like the 2.0 which i feel like a 3.0 of the original secret set now the cone head's looking good so that's why i feel like they have to do it or they are doing it as a ko the car is not going to do it so let them do it Maybe they paid a little kickback to Takara. Maybe they even had a little help from Takara. Nobody knows. I don't really know. I'm speculating on that right there. But with that, that's kind of part of the reason why I think they're going this route. The other thing is that I I know that these are trickier because the wings are all different. So they're all there's a lot of different molding for each different version. But I believe we'll get all three. The problem is we don't know for sure. We don't know for sure we're going to get all three. And that is an issue. And that is a concern. I'm in on it. I'm, there's no backing out. I'm in on this. But would we get all three? And of course, until we get all three, I wouldn't replace my make toys. So I'm keep my make toys until we get all three of these. And that's just the way I look at it. And I'm fine with that. Now, not everybody's fine with that. So that gets into the last discussion is how many people are in the market for cone heads. Now, I do believe that if you were to take 100% of the Masterpiece Collectors and you can cut it in half, you can say... Half of them are just satisfied with what they got, and no matter what comes out, they're not going to upgrade. So that leaves you half the market. Of that half the market, I believe half of the half, which is a quarter, don't care about cone heads. So I don't think the cone head market is nearly as big as the seeker market. And the reason I feel that way is because the seekers seem to always get done, but then when it gets to the cone heads, even with Hasbro, it's like they're afraid to do it. Let's make it an exclusive because we're afraid that it's not going to sell. So I see this with the cone heads all the time, and here we are, like I think I made a video about cone heads um, not too long ago, maybe a year ago, year and a half ago, about when I made my secret out video. We haven't seen a new cone head until this one, aside from the Make Toys ones, which they were already in the works. And it took them, what, three years, four years to get theirs out. So with this, this I don't want to say this is the last chance to get the cone heads. This might be one of the last chances to get cone heads for a while. So let me know what you think about this Conehead situation, the return of the Coneheads, and let me know if you plan on picking this up. Are you going to pre-order from Show Z and put TH Reviewer in there? But really no pressure. But still, I'm in on it. I like it. I'm excited for it. I want to see all three of them come. And the the reason I am is because I, I really, I blew out all of my Seekers few years ago so i've started fresh and i've been having a lot of fun with new ones i don't have a whole lot of old stuff to compare to because i got rid of most of it so this is kind of fun and exciting i do have the make toy set and i'll have that to compare to this so let me know in the comments below like and subscribe have a great weekend Ted Durham hanger out